Did you know that small business lending via SBA 7A is up 33% year on year? This is folks for loans up to 150 grand. We're going to have this conversation, of course, with Bo Eckstein, the concierge to small business lending. We're also going to open with what the heck is one rental at a time community doing? Is anybody reaching out? Anybody having conversations about service, about vending? about anything, or are we just 100% focused on real estate? Bo, thank you for being here. Is anybody going to one rental meeting.com? Yeah. I mean, there's every week, there are several appointments every single week. Uh, last night, actually, I uh, had a conversation or yesterday afternoon, had a conversation. Um, and it, it was a really interesting conversation because the gentleman uh, works in tech uh and then he ended up taking a year off um long story but we got into it when i was talking with him but he liked he heard about the vending uh that we did a couple episodes ago and he really was intrigued um and then somehow we got on to tom wheelwright um uh, his book uh tax free wealth right yep. and that was like kind of the the changing point um and then he started going down the rabbit hole of like learning so he he found you he found dion he found pace morby and then he now he has 25, he does co-living and he has like 25 yeah. beds now. He's wow. crushing it. Uh, he went back for the next few years because they wanted him back. So he got, it was really cool how he went back into, so here the, the vending thing. So then when I heard about Tom Wilwright, you know, I'll kind of give everybody a, a note that we're writing a book together. And uh, wait, wait, this, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You, Bo Eckstein, are writing a book with Tom Real right? Did I hear that right? You are exactly right. I got wow! I'm in a master, congratulations. Yeah, yeah. I'm in a mastermind group with um, Evan Carmichael. Uh, he he leads it, and uh, he had Tom as a presenter. And um, basically, I, I've been a fan of Tom's for a while. Yeah. So I got to raise you know raise my Zoom hand, and I got on. And I said, "Hey, Tom, uh, big fan." And I said, "I'm actually writing a book, and I need a CPA that's." <laughs> you know, got some authority in the space. And uh, anyways, he said, I'm interested in the idea. I ran by the concept to him. And then we went back and forth a few times on email. And then uh, sure enough, he said, send me the skeleton, you know, the framework of the book. And I had, it, I had it pretty much dialed in. And then he's like, I like it. Let's, let's, you know, let's get the draft done. And so the draft's done. We're probably about, hopefully, two months out, maybe it might come out before the end of the year, but possibly. Wow. So this is, this January. is not, this is not theory. This is like, it's coming. It's, it's going on Amazon. It's, it's going to be a, uh, it's going to be amazing. I'm going to need some autographed copies, my friend. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty awesome. Like my first book. Yeah, um, I'd so say anyways, so. <laughs> anyways, it, but it's true. Everybody needs to own a small, uh, uh, a small business. So when I was talking to uh, the gentleman last night, uh, he was telling me like, how he like absolutely adores Tom. And I'm like, all right, well, shoot me a video. And he shot me a video and put it up on his YouTube channel. And I sent it to Tom this morning. Hmm. And I said, this is truly inspiring because the work that we do, and I'm not, I'm not a Tom Wheelwright, but you know, maybe at some point in my life, I can become a Tom Wheelwright, right? And influence hundreds of thousands, if not millions, actually millions of people. He sold hundreds and thousands of copies of his book. Yeah. Right. So you, you, when you have such a big footprint, plus he's, he's, he's affected millions of people. Right. Um, I mean, if you look at how many views you've gotten on YouTube, right, it's crazy. So it just made me realize that the work we do um, for people, helping people is really going to change the ecosystem because everybody's worried about the economy. And I think everybody should worry about their economy. Right. And, and I, I, I heard a guy, talk about the FU wall, right? You build a yep. fortress. I don't care if the economy is up, down, sideways, because my economy is always going up, right? And so that is the mindset. And when I heard the gentleman talking about how this just changed his life, he was doing okay in tech, but he, in a year's time, I think he nets now like nine grand a month from that business. Yeah. In one no, year's I think, time. No, I, I, I know for a fact that we are positively impacting likely thousands of people every week. Sometimes we're just opening their eyes. Sometimes we're the spark. Sometimes we're just telling them to keep going because starting a small business, building a real estate portfolio, give whatever it is on your journey, the early part is hard. One of the things I love about this channel is we have 
I don't know, 10, 12, 15 millionaires that show up every week to share the real story. We're not, you know, we're not some gurus that's selling 10, 20, $30,000 anything. It's not, it's not my interest. It's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to help people get to four, right? Help them, help them have a better life. And my mission is impact, not money. And, um, it is fun to see it work, right? I send out these cards and all of this stuff. Uh, I know with a fact we are doing good work. I know for a fact there's people, uh, like this individual, uh, who's looking at vending. I know there's for a fact people coming to you looking at service industries. I know there's value in having a small business, building it, spending off the cash flow and buying real estate. It's what we're doing together. You, the concierge of small bin business lending myself as a full-time, you know, tech worker who never thought about being an entrepreneur. It wasn't even a realm of possibilities. The way that you could bring somebody like vending, it's kind of like that low touch, you know, let's go buy 10 vending machines, you know, get that rolled out. Let's, let's pay somebody a, a 1099 to, to stock them up or, or whatever. You're, you're, you and I together on this is, it's just so it's fun for me. And I know we're helping people. It's pretty amazing. Uh, yeah. I mean, the triangle method, tax strategy, operating business and, and, and real estate, right? Like, I think that should be the next book. I think that would be because that's yeah. what everybody needs. I talk to so many people every single day. I think yesterday I was talking to a one rental guy. Uh, he works in tech, um, very not entrepreneurial, but he, he heard us talking and he's like, well, I'm not entrepreneurial, but if I can find a business that I'm really, he, he does, um, he works for a, a big company, let's call it. And he's very technical in what he does. So there's something out there for him. Right. And so oh, it's just yeah. finding out what would make sense. Like, and maybe it's as simple as vending. I have, I have a guy right now, uh, that he, he, he makes $2 million a year in his W2. Right. Jeez. And he, nice. he pays a million bucks a year in taxes. Oh. They really have write offs. So now he's really he's branching out and he's, you know, looking at and he looked at numerous franchises with me. And then um, he's got some children. So actually, he's going to do 20 machines in vending because he wants that that huge. He needs that write off this year. He's getting yeah. it in before the end of the year. So that's the other thing too. talk to your CPA. What if I, you know, uh, make the payment this year? Can I even if the business is just getting started? Can I offset some of that W-2 income? Yeah. These are all strategies we need. It's not how much money you make. It's how much money you keep. Uh, bottom line, like you can, you talk, and you hear people online now too, which is kind of annoying. You, you talk, you hear about the people, how many doors they own, right? These syndicators. Well, it's like, well, that's great. But what does that really mean? What does that equate to? Uh, and that's what I'm it more equates to the fact they're going to lose put? them. They're going to lose them because <laughs> they got bad deals. Right, because some people talk about their top line revenue in business the same way. Oh, well, we did four million in top line. Well, if it's ten percent margins, right? That's four hundred grand. I mean, that's there's a lot of tech workers that are making four to six hundred thousand. I mean, and and you have like thirty employees. So is that really a better thing? And so I think we have to look at all these components and and that really and then also quality of life, right? Yeah, Put quality of life. There. Absolutely. Yeah. That that's the big thing I'm I'm trying to figure out now with this you know, mini entrepreneurial slant I'm in after leaving the workforce almost seven years ago is just so many different ways you can impact people's lives. Uh, I just love what you're doing with one real meeting.com. You have 15 minute calls. You introduce people to different SBA financing and business options. It's, it's pretty cool. But let's talk about SBA 7A. You just told me earlier off camera that it's up 33%. It really does seem like solopreneurs and, and small business operators are really picking up and, and, Again, this is a small lending product up to 150K. So tell us what's going on. SBA backed loans, were, uh, there was 38,000 of them done under 150,000 this year. Wow. 38,000 loans under 100, uh, which was 2.7 billion in volume for these micro loans or these small loans. Um, that, that, I believe, is a 33% increase from 2023. And then the 7A loan size is 150 to 500,000. Uh, that's up. Um, there was 18,100 of those loans done in fiscal year 2024. That's a 16% increase. So as you can see, what happened was SBA put pressure on the banks to open up the doors. We want everybody to own a small business. The tax code, what, is it, what does that say? Everybody, you should own a small business. 
Okay, so now the government's actually helping everybody. So guys, like before we, I know everybody's preaching tax this, tax that, but look, it's there for you. Just get the roadmap, educate yourself. Uh, lastly, what I'll say, which is another good news that I think will happen in the next 12 to 24 months. The last time they increased the loan amount for SBA 7A loan was 2010. Oh. It went from 2 million to 5 million. So my crystal ball is telling me that 5 million mark for the seven A is going to go up seven. Now, and a half, when you say seven A, that's like total lending or individual loan. For an individual loan. Okay. Wow. You can do up to five million. You can only have an aggregate of five million. So what I think is going to happen with the seven A, they're going to change the aggregate uh, limits to ten, and probably mm -hmm. at least seven and a half uh, in proceeds on one deal. Um, okay. So so because look, if you haven't changed since two thousand ten. That's 14 years and businesses <laughs> little, aren't little bit of inflation cheaper. since then. <laughs> right. So this is going to be a huge, I think, I think 2025 is actually going to open up a lot of doors that we haven't seen. The entrepreneurial journey is still going strong. It's going to continue to go strong. I think there's going to be more opportunities in real estate. Um, mm -hmm. Probably maybe the second part of 2025. That's probably your yep. more of your uh, okay. economic side. But I would say like, you know, it's been tight for a while. Things are still moving, it seems like. I've seen like Las Vegas market here. Um, there's homes on the market. They're not selling as quickly, but there's still demand. And actually, I was just, I was taking my, I, I have my real estate license here in Nevada. I don't really sell. Uh, actually, I just gave Joe D a referral uh, <laughs> just because I was like, I is a friend of mine that's moving here from LA, of course, because everybody wants to escape. Yep. Um, but there has been more growth in real estate agents in, in Nevada than any other state in this report that I just, that they, they were telling wow. us. So like, that's interesting because a number in California has declined in Texas, same things decline more agents here. I don't know why, maybe it's because so many people are moving here from the real estate world thinking, but it, that's interesting too. But I do believe yeah. that Las Vegas is poised to continue to so grow yeah, I agree. with it, with, with, with the job economy, being diverse, diversified from the gaming industry, with the movie industry moving out here, with the uh, high speed, high speed tra uh, rail, mm -hmm. that's actually happening. Yeah, from the LA, next three or four yeah. years, that's going to be a game changer. So I can like commute in. It's not going to go all the way to LA, but I can commute there, and I could take the bus to go to LA, yeah. and I could work there in my hybrid schedule if, if I had a W two job. And now I can buy a nicer house in Vegas. Yeah, for it, half the it, price or, or dude, what, dude, what, what I have in Vegas would cost 10 X where I come from, maybe 15 X. So you can get yeah. a lot of house here. Yeah. I mean, it just makes sense, right? It just made no state tax. Um, there's always events here close to the airport. The only, you know, the only downside is for a few months, it's really hot and it gets yeah. windy here sometimes. That's the only downside. That's why you get, a, that's why you get a second home or a beach yeah. place or a mountain house. I, it's funny, uh, Olivia. So Olivia, Olivia and I's really first year here because the first six months we were doing our backyard and stuff, and we just went to the first Summerlin Halloween parade. That was amazing. There was like ten thousand people there. It was crazy. It was really well done. Shout out the shout out uh, Summerlin uh, team for doing that. So yeah, there is all, there's not, always something to do here. The food is great. That was a big thing for Olivia and I. Is you know the food went downhill from where we were and, and the food scene here is bananas. Yes. Uh, actually the district tomorrow, uh, Green Valley district, they do a, a Halloween little party from it's not, nothing like Summerlin. I've been to Summerlin. That's amazing, but it's still cool. I'm going to take um, baby Bo. <laughs> oh, well, well, send us a note. We may uh, follow you. So send me a text after what time and location we, we loved yeah. it. We just, it's fun getting out there. People are having fun. It's exciting. Again, I think Vegas has got a lot of uh, a lot uh, going for it. But folks, you're watching this because you're interested in uh, SBA 7A. You might be interested in buying a business. If you want to get started, you got to call the man, myth, the legend, the concierge of small business lending, Bo Eckstein. Go to onerentalmeeting.com. Book your call. Any closing Thank thoughts? You guys. Just go out there and make it happen every day. I'm, I'm like amped up. I'm just making it happen, investing back into my education always. I, I, I'm spending more money on, on masterminds and education this year than I ever have before. And like, when I think about it, like it's, it's, I, I'm probably spending about 50 grand, mm. um, this year. I mean, that's a lot of money 
to, to that but, is. but, but it's not a cost. It's an investment. And that's what every time I get into another circle, I meet new people, it creates business opportunities. Um, and, and so like, like I invest in a, a personal, a, a high performance coach. I meet with them and it's expensive. Every session is, you know, expensive. And I meet with them every week. And basically he just referred me a deal, <laughs> a deal that I closed and it paid for two years of his service. There you go. So, right. You got to invest in yourself, guys. That's the first step. So get in there, get in the school group, start networking, meet all the people in the community too. That's yeah. the things that we forget about too. Like there's probably business partners out there. There's probably people that would be private money lenders. I mean, people that know about certain types of deals that you might not know about. So that's yep. really what I'm doing. How we're networking from that here on out. Dude, you're amazing, Bo. Again, one run meeting.com. Again, I put up the school community 67 measly cents a day. Why haven't you joined? Go to school.com, one rental at a time. You will find us. Bo, you're amazing. Take care.